The issue is, as you sit here today, what are you leaving here prepared to do yourself? Everyone has a responsibility to make a contribution themselves in the time you live. I say every time I speak that it is a personal commitment and a personal assessment that you must have. Butch is right, I've been preaching since I was a little boy. And I can tell you the hardest job of a black preacher is to preach the funeral of an irrelevant Negro. <laughs> That's a hard job. They roll the body down the aisle, lay it out in front of the altar, family sit on the first row crying and carrying on. And we supposed to get up and hallucinate a life that you, you never lived. <laughs> Most folks, Derek, shouldn't even have a funeral. Most folks should go straight from the mall to the cemetery because most folks haven't done anything anybody can talk about. I spoke at Michael Jackson's memorial. I did a eulogy at his burial. I never forget when I was coming out of the cemetery that night. Very well-known artist. If I called his name, you would all know him. Stopped me and he grabbed me by the shoulder. He said, Reverend Al, I said, yes. He said, I was really touched by your eulogy. I said, thank you. He said, no, it really moved me. I said, thank you. He says, and if I go first, I want you to do my eulogy just like that. I said, but you got to give me something to work with. <laughs> I want you to think about that today. What am I doing? What is my vision? What are my goals? And what tangibly am I going to do that will say that my life purpose and achievement is this? Do not be the expert at critiquing everybody else without ever putting the responsibility on interpreting to the world who you are. Everyone out in public that you critique are already making their mark. What will be your mark? What will be your contribution? Where will you fit in this vision going forward? You're in the 21st century, a new day with wide and mass technology, a black president, a black attorney general. People with far less got up and changed the world. What can you do? Or are you too inept and limited to take advantage of the challenges of today? That's what today is about. It's about those with vision and the courage of their convictions to stand up and help us make a difference. We could have a session of venting and complaining and we'd all feel better, but that's therapy. That's not strategy. Today is not a day of therapy to get off your chest how the world has not been fair to you, to get off your chest and how folks are bigoted and biased. We are not here to do therapy. We're here to do strategy. We can make a difference if we're determined to do it. That's why we're meeting in this hotel today, because others before us had made up their mind that the mountains they faced, they were going to climb them. We have an easier way to climb, no matter how big they may be. The question are, are we the children of those that conquered mountains? Or are we those that become the weakest link in a long chain of African-American historic progress? Thank you.